Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited because this is going to be one video I've been wanting to do for a very long time and I haven't probably done an updated handbag video in almost a year. So it's been a really long time. I feel like I've gotten some new bags here and there and I just got really excited. I find myself recently like in January when all the spring collections start to come out and I see previews, I get really excited. I think spring is my weakness when it comes to handbags, but I just got really inspired again to wanting to just share my whole collection and kind of just talk my you know favorite handbags with you. So that's what we're doing in today's video. There's also going to be a little giveaway um, since Valentine's Day is coming up. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna be giving away both these uh, makeup bags, but stay tuned, that's gonna be in the middle of the video. If you guys are not yet following my channel or subscribe, please follow and subscribe now. Also on Instagram, TikTok as well. Um, I'm gonna roll right in. I feel like this might be a longer video, but I'm really excited. And definitely let me know in the comments what your favorite bags are to use right now. I've been super into into backpacks which I will show you guys my um, backpack that I launched this year which is a diaper bag so I have uh, two to share with you plus just all the other backpacks I have that I also use like mini ones and stuff so I'm gonna roll right in so it's a little easier for me to do a sit down and I get through all the bags and just show them to you because these types of videos I like to get up the same day and if I can do that then there's gonna have to be less editing I just warmed up my coffee here for like the fifth time I don't know, it's a little hot, but anyways, I'll have that in a minute. Look how cute this is though. I was gonna show you guys this. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I had a really cute package coming from Casetify. So cute. They made this little picture of the fam. So cute. Um, but yeah, okay, I am going to start basically, I think I'll go by brand because the, I would say the most, um, the most I have is probably going to be between Chanel and Louis Vuitton, which are my two favorite high-end designer brands. And I mean, some of these bags are older and then some are obviously newer. I am so bad though with the names. So I'm going to link them down below in the order that I talk about them. And then also I'll share any pre-loved sites or any sites of bags that I recommend to you guys. Cause I know a lot of you guys go out and try to search for these bags after and some of them might not be there and less pre-loved and I'll just do as much as I can. Hopefully I can today. Uh, we only have our nanny here till three o'clock, which is only another hour. So, um, okay. So I think I'll start off with, uh, Louis Vuitton. So uh, I'm like out of breath right now. Woo. And I'm wearing like this new color, by the way, I never really wear green, but it's very springy. And I got it at Target when I went for my Miami trip and it's just so cute. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm gonna start off with this bag right here. It's probably one of my oldest bags that I have and still one of my favorites. It's just such a useful bag because it can store so much on the inside here. I remember I had like my tablet go in the middle section, which you can zip up, which is fantastic. And you can also, or yeah, you can't close close this, but it does have a little, um, little strap here that you can attach to the other side so stuff doesn't really fall out as easily. Um, you can fit so much in here, so I really do like this bag. It also has the little um, little details at the bottom here, which is quite nice and gold. So I do really love this bag. I don't wear it a whole lot anymore, but um, it's nice because you could do the crossbody if you wanted to too. So it came with that strap. Um, this one right here, uh, which you can just really put on your shoulder or you can do crossbody if you want. It's a shorter strap though. That's what it looks like here. I do love all the pink and gold detailing though. Um, and then it's just got so many pockets on the inside. So that one, and then I also have, you guys probably have seen this a lot uh, on my, well, when Ren and I would go for a lot of um, dates and date night stuff, like probably before the girls. I wore this bag the most probably before the girls. Uh, and it's just so nice and Lux. I'm not sure of the name. I mean, I got it a while ago. I got it off Fashion File actually. So I just thought this would be the perfect date night bag. It has this big clip right here like that. And I loved the chunky chain. I'm really big on chunky chains. Actually my most recent bag, which I'll show you guys after, um, has a really chunky chain and that's what I liked about it. But this one right here, it's like got the glossy finish. I usually don't buy silver hardware. I'm usually more into gold, but um, I just fell in love with the bag so much. That's what it looks like there. All the space you can fit on the inside. Right 
there. So, I mean, it is a small, I can obviously fit my phone in here <laughs> and maybe some cards, but that's about it. It is a smaller bag, but it's one of those bags that really stands out when you're going out. I've gotten so many compliments when wearing this bag. I, I saw a version of it. I think it was like black and gold hardware. I would love that bag and I'm kind of getting, it's funny. That's why I wanted to do an updated handbag video because I'm getting more into like the black and the cream tones, which is crazy. But I mean, my style just changes so frequently and I love pink, pink will always be my number one. But you can see I have a lot of like beige tones and some black bags that I've also purchased since like the last time I've done this video. I bought like a taupey color, which I never do. Um, so I mean, I definitely have changed things up and I'm, I'll mention this towards the end of the video. I actually plan on selling some of my bags and I don't know how to go about it. I know a lot of my friends that are handbag lovers. There's like Brooke, Saki, Tanya. There's so many people um, that love handbags, Sharla. Um, but I guess I'll have to ask them like if they do pre-love sites, but some of them do it like on their own and just announce it on Instagram. So if you guys like would wanna see which ones I'm selling and stuff, maybe you guys can email me, but I'll talk about that more maybe in my description once I figure it out. So if you are interested, um, not all of them, but there's just some of them that I just have never worn and they've just really sat there. So um, this other bag here, this is my everyday bag if I'm not taking my diaper bag. Um, so this is the backpack I got for my last, not my last, which was my 30th birthday, the one before that, so my 29th birthday. Uh, it's like filled you guys. Like I just have an endless amount of stuff in here. I have two wallets in here right now, which is my, Chanel, this one, um, and then the Prada that I got. This I got for my birthday, the two-toned color one, which I really like. It's like pink and beige and gold, such nice complementing colors. It's also just very petite. Um, sorry about the lighting in here. The sun's going up and down. Of course, my battery just died. Uh, so yeah, well, two wallets that I've been carrying right now. Don't ask me why, I just like sometimes throw them into my bag. Um, but yeah, it, it is one of my favorite bags. I never wear it like this. I've always worn it as a backpack, but you can take the straps off if you wanted to and just carry it like a little, little bag like that and then take these off. Um, but yeah, it, it is a really useful bag. And I think when you become a mom, you'll notice how like backpacks and, um, you know, crossbody bags are a lot more um, easier to manage than if I were to have like a top handle or something like that with kids. It just like usually doesn't work. I've bought in so many crossbody bags, different sizes since having them. And I was just thinking to myself too, since I've put up, or I can't even remember the last time I put up like a handbag video. Um, but I used to always make disclaimers and be like, you know, I'm not trying to show off this and that. And I don't, it's uh, the amount that I've changed since just, you know, having the girls in the last few years and just becoming 30, like, it's just so different. And I totally feel on every level that, you know, like, I deserve all these things. I buy them myself. And, like, why not treat yourself? And, I mean, buy things you like and enjoy. And if you're going to spend your own money, you should spend it the way you want to. And I used to just always worry so much about, like, what people would think when putting up these videos. But I'm all for it. I love watching these types of videos. They're my favorite types of videos to watch. And I think it's awesome when bo boss babe moms and just like entrepreneurs and, you know, people that work so hard endlessly and buy beautiful things. And I mean, like I say, there's different things that people enjoy. Ryan, it's cars and, you know, different things. And for me, it's just like handbags. I've always liked handbags. And even the girls like having handbags too. It's really cute. My friend Nina actually bought them these little, um, like little fake Chanel bags. They're from like a baby boutique. I'll have to find out what the name was because I got I get so many questions about them. Um, but they carry them all day and like carry them around the house and put like a hundred little things in them and collect these like little toys and they love having things in their purse. It's just really cute to watch. Um, but I'm gonna continue so this video is not super super long and I still want to get through all the bags and share them with you. This is obviously the Neverfull. You guys have seen this, but this particular one was a limited edition that came out and was actually very hard to find. I remember I bought this in Michigan when I first moved to Ontario and Ryan and I went over there and I saw it and I was like, I would love this bag. This is awesome. So, I mean, I have utilized this bag like crazy. I mean, I have a lot of random stuff in here right now, um, but it can fit a ton. You can also buy the inserts, which are a must. If you do have any designer bag, I think you should get inserts so you're not dirty or dirtying the inside of the bags. And it just gives you 
a peace of mind and you're not worrying about getting stains or anything like that in your bags. Um, but yeah, this is probably one of my all-time favorite bags. It can obviously store so much and it's huge. You can also put like, or tie up the strap. So I don't do this often. I, I don't like the look of it as much, but like, you know how you can change the shape of it like this. So you can have it look like that too. But I, I honestly like the full length one like that. So the other two bags, I just went and got another two Louis Vuitton bags that I have here. Very different, um, but two bags I like really really have used and loved not so much the twist that one's the twist but this one i've used a lot i love it it's really come in handy i did love the top handle if you're going out for like little date night it can fit and i love the lock with the is this bb i think it's called the bb something i can't remember i am honestly after having kids i'm like i don't remember the names of anything um anymore and Handbags are just really hard to remember the names of, I find, except for Chanel, that's a lot easier, but like the Louis Vuitton names are always so long and different. Uh, but anyways, this is what the inside looks like. It's velvet, which I kind of wish it had a different material because then you're so paranoid about getting the velvet dirty. Uh, again, it can fit your phone. It can fit um, a mini wallet in here as well if you wanted to. I honestly, I don't really put my phone in my bag. I usually put it in my like pants if I'm wearing jeans or I put it in my coat. I hardly ever put my phone in my bag actually now that I think about it. It's always in my pocket. Um, but I mean yeah you can carry a lot in here. You can put like a lipstick and um, the nice thing about this bag it comes with a strap so you could do crossbody if you wanted to which I hope I have enough time you guys to do uh, layovers. I love doing like little shots of like wearing the bags and showing you what they look like on. If I can't do it for all of them I'll do it for some. If you want me to do another video though detailing that then I will. It's just hard to find the time. I obviously have twins um, but yeah and a business but I just thought it'd be so fun to do this video. I'm just gonna put the straps on to show you what that does look like um, and of course Max always interrupting my videos so that's what it looks like here and you can just put it over like that so that's what it would look like on which is really cute and I like the top handle but again whenever I'm wearing this bag I usually just hold it with the top handle and I love the fact it had like it's not tight around your wrist. It's really a nice big top handle, so it gives you more space. But I feel like I've gotten a lot of compliments using that bag. Next I have is the twist. So I was a really big fan of Jeffree Star, like I wanna say eight years ago, basically when I started my channel and everything. And I just, I think obviously with those sorts of channels, there's just always so much drama that I rather watch some true crime or some documentaries or something on Netflix. I'm really boring these days, but um, this was just such a luxe bag. And I remember him buying this bag and I was like, I need to buy that. I loved, okay, this is just the twist. I love how LV did that. I think there's like, this is probably one of the coolest logos I've ever seen. I love it. Um, so the nice thing about this, again, you can do crossbody or you can carry it off your shoulder like this. Um, so let me just quickly show you both like that and then like that. Sorry, it's really awkward, this position, but I'll do what I can do. Um, so that's what that looks like there and then I'll open up the bag to show you what it looks like. I'm not gonna lie, I've probably used this bag. There was a point I was really OCD with my bags and I like didn't wanna touch them, I just wanted to leave them on my shelves and I've probably used this bag three times. I like, I leave everything in here just in case I end up selling them. The booklets are even in here. And I recommend that to anybody. Keep your, like, keep everything in prime condition just in case your style changes and you end up wanting to sell it. Um, but yeah, just to show you what that inside looks like. Again, velvet, which is a little scary sometimes with handbags, but. I mean, yeah, definitely a really nice, beautiful size. It's one of those like bulky bags though, I find. And um, if that's not your style, you probably wouldn't like the bag. It also has yellow stitching. You can see that there. So that was something different, which I didn't notice in the photos after I bought it. But honestly, I didn't mind it. It still looks like a nice bag. I'm gonna go grab a few other of my last Louis Vuitton. Okay, we have three here. I know everything's pink, I obviously still have a pink obsession but again i'm still into neutrals 
this is my newest one which I'm going to show you guys in a second and I have to go get the chain for it um, I'll just put that there for now so let's let's do this one so I remember this this was like I think the Elma bag um, I loved this when it came out it's just such a classic Louis Vuitton bag. It's got the rose ballerine um, coloring on here and I loved the fabric and the texture. This is so easy to keep clean and wipe um, and I just thought this was really neat at the time but not really realistic for my lifestyle now and I haven't worn this bag since Vancouver days so it's been a long time. I liked the detailing on it like how it has a little uh, Louis Vuitton lock on there. The it's a stiffer bag and I've realized over time like that uh, YSL bag I have is also very stiff and I'm not into those types of bags as much as more flexible bags like for instance these sorts of like the Chanel kind of style like I've just been going for more of that soft material over getting a more stiff bag lately. Um, I don't know it's just preference now or backpacks um, but this is what the inside looks like here. I think this is actually one of the bags that I'm going to sell and I've only used it a few times um, but yeah it is a large bag and uh, can fit a lot of stuff. The zipper is a little bit harder to do up. I think you have to be a really big pink lover and um, rose ballerine lover to want this bag. I mean it is stunning it's beautiful but I definitely had my issues with it too because my um, I think now having kids it just makes more sense not to have a bag like this um gosh and the zipper sometimes is so hard to do up i've heard that though in some other people's videos i thought it was just my bag but it seems to be all of them um it also has these at the bottom here which is great um but again just like a really cute bag and then um also i have these two smaller bags which i'm gonna show you guys this one first because it's my favorite um so this one here okay this is crazy by the way i actually gifted a different color to my mom i got one for rhoda for christmas a few years ago and these are fantastic look how much it comes with i think this was like i think 1400 dollars or something but you get this sleeve with it with, for all your cards this for all like your receipts your cards whatever you want to put in there it comes with two two and then also crossbody bag like this is just such a useful bag and it comes with so much can't remember the name of it <laughs> uh that's okay though i will link it down below as i said i'm gonna list everything in order um of, sh of showing it and then it will have the names and i mean if you click on any of the link you'll see you know it'll match up to the item um but that's what it looks like there and then you can obviously hold it like a clutch or you can do crossbody with the gold chain but i mean you can fit a lot in here for just such a small little bag so I've really loved it and I used to have a red one too I still have it somewhere but um I mean you can just use this for anything date night groceries and it really has come in handy and it comes with so much I really love it over this bag I mean I think this is a bag I'll sell too it's really really cute did it come with this I just found that in there I didn't even know I had that <laughs> It's a little card holder. Um, so this is the camera bag, rose ballerine coloring. They're both rose ballerine. Um, but this was the camera bag I bought. I mean, I don't think I'd ever use a bag for a camera. It was just a cute little bag that I wanted because it was the rose ballerine. And this was so hard to get a hold of back when I was obsessed with that, um, that design. But that's the size of it. You could fit your phone, maybe a little wallet, a lipstick. Um, it'd be like a going out bag or a date night bag. Um, you can do crossbody with it like this, like that. Very cute. Um, but again, I don't think I would... Um, I think over these two, since they're so similar, that's why I think I'd sell this one. Um, and I've never used this. I've never used it, not once. So it is in very good condition. Um, so yeah, again, that's what it looks like there, that shiny patent coloring, which I really do love. I think it's beautiful. Oh, I'll put this back in there. Um, what other, I think that's all my Louis Vuitton bags, honestly, except for my newest. So this is my newest purchase. I got this for my 30th birthday when I was in Vancouver. Um, really neat. And of course, I was obsessed with this like fall beige tone. You can really use this color year round, but it's just so stunning goes with so many colors and if I want to wear pink sometimes I like having like a nude bag or a black bag um and then the inside is like a navy blue I didn't even know that I haven't used it yet 
And then, okay, I had to go get the chain. Like, look how cute this is. I, that's a part of the reason why I really wanted to get it. I loved how luxe the, um, the strap was and I loved the gold and then the color of the bag too. So cute. They have a pink one. So for any pink lovers out there, I know Brooke has it and it's gorgeous. Um, I just wanted to do something different because I have obviously so many pink bags and since my style is kind of switching up a little bit. I just wanted to share that, so cute. And it can fit quite a bit in here too. Um, I should use it because I haven't used it yet, but really adorable. Okay, so since we're halfway through the video, we've gotten through the Louis Vuitton, we're almost gonna do the Chanel. I wanted to do the giveaway for you. Since it's almost Valentine's Day, I wanted to gift two of my makeup cases and one comes with makeup in it. So this one right here, we have the pink um, travel makeup case, which is, unreal i love being able to see everything it stores so much great to travel with and then this one right here actually comes with all my eyeshadows and my eyeshadow palette a set of eye brushes um so all you guys have to do comment down below what your favorite bag is of all time that you've owned um and also make sure you're subscribed and that's all you guys have to do i will announce the winner in my next video um so that's been working a lot and i'm so excited like look at that you guys can add that to your collections at home, your makeup collections. I'm running out of room here. Okay, so now we are getting into my all-time favorite brand for bags. These are just dream bags, dream bags, dream brand, Chanel, of course. I still remember my very first Chanel bag, and I just thought it was just never, ever going to happen. So I'm so appreciative. I take care of these bags so much, like I do all my bags, but these are just extra special to me. Um, so I got the beige. Uh, this is the bag right here, the Silver Hardware Classic Flap, large classic flaps, and I do have a small classic flap as well. Uh, now the jumbo, I remember seeing the jumbo, it's huge, it's so big, so I mean if you have like a ton of stuff you carry around then maybe that bag but for someone that's of my size it just looked silly it was way too big um but the large i love it's just classic and um now i would have preferred i think the gold hardware with the beige i know liz has it and some other people i follow as well but i just wanted this bag so badly at the time that i just splurged for the silver hardware which i do like it it goes with every outfit um, and this is just such a stunning bag. I can't, I haven't even played with these for a while. Um, but yeah, I'll probably wait till my girls are a little bit older until I wear this out. Um, but right here it has a zipper at the top. You guys have always seen the insides, You any bag reviews. Um, you probably know what the insides look like already. Uh, just flip it over and show you guys there. So it's got tons of space on the inside. It also has pockets and storage for like your phone in this pocket right here, which is great. So you can reach for it really quickly. Um, but I just love this bag. It's just such a statement piece. And I would say the small, I'll show you the difference of the, the size small if you're interested in getting that one, but it is nice for like a date night or something. This is more like of a work day bag or you're, you're going out or something like that, shopping, like it's just a much bigger bag. So I have that one. And then I'm running out of space. Um, we have the classic black and gold. So this was actually my first black bag ever that I purchased, you guys. I never thought I'd see the day, but I really love classic black bags. I loved it with the gold hardware. Um, so I'll show you the inside here. And these I obviously got both pre-loved, but they were in pristine condition. Like I don't buy anything pre-loved unless it's in really great condition for, you know, for myself to enjoy. And then also if I ever want to resell it. Um, so I got this from a local company actually, which I was really lucky to find this. Um, and the inside here, just to show you, same size. It's got like a burgundy color on the inside. And again, that phone pocket, which is great. Uh, I really like it with the gold hardware. I think this is so nice beautiful and I don't know about you like I I only ever wear it like this I would never do like a crossbody with this bag I think it I don't know it just wouldn't look as nice um so that's what it looks like there I'll also show you just in case I don't have time to do the layovers what this one looks like too really nice size obviously a little bit bigger but I still love love the chunkiness and like the size of the bags um now the other Chanel bag I have here is my small little one. I found this on Fashion File and I fell in love. It was like the two-toned 
uh, wallet on chain um, little bag and it has silver right here and then it goes into gold and then a really nice logo right there and the inside I'll just show you what the inside looks like super cute I love this bag and I actually have used this bag so much um, it's great just to do your little card. oh by the way comes with all the authenticity cards which you need to keep if you're planning on ever reselling um, those are really great to have and yeah, so this is honestly one of my favorite cutest little bags and I get so many compliments when I wear this. I wear it a lot in the summertime just when I need a few cards with me and my phone. And like I said, if I'm wearing jean shorts or something, I'll put my phone in my pocket. Um, super cute. These two Chanel bags I also have. Um, start off with this beige one that I have. So this is like the Le Boy collection uh, that came out. So I can't remember when I got this. I wanna say it was a few years ago. Um, I loved the design, I loved uh, the logo as well. I thought that was really cool. And then you also just unclip it like that and it opens. Um, so I got this, I believe, off Fashion Faux. I can't remember. I think it was though. And it can fit a lot of stuff. If you guys actually remember when we were building the house, this was the bag that I brought with me and it was in all the photos and I got so many questions about it. Um, but I love the chunky chain. You guys know my chunky chain obsession. So let me just show you. It looks like right there and again you can wear this bag like on your shoulder like this so that also looks really nice and I love this bag I've just I've used it a lot and I love the color really got me into like the beige and gold colors this actually this color is like my boss babe set like this is exactly the tones I have in that set probably got inspired by the bag um, and then also I have this one right here. So this is the medium flap, yes. And then the other one I have over there, I'll show you in a minute, is the small. So I bought this actually off my friend um, Alice. She's on Instagram and she has such a beautiful pink bag collection. I will maybe link some of the pink handbag collectors down below or bag collectors that I know of um, if you guys want to get inspired and follow them too. Uh, but yeah, I bought this bag off of her and it was in such great condition But I remember when I was obsessed with this like really like Beautiful bright springy pink. I like went through such an obsession a few years not a few years ago more than that like five years ago um, But I love this bag. It's the perfect spring bag So that's what it looks like and then of course after when the iridescent collection came out I got obsessed with that. I literally bought and flew to like LA to get that entire collection. So I think I'm gonna sell some of that collection. If you've been wanting the iridescent collection, then let me know, you can email me, um, DM me. But I think I'm gonna sell some of those pieces. I have like, I wanna say eight pieces or something, including wallets and things that I've never used. They haven't even come out of this closet before. So I think it's time. Um, but just to show you what this looks like here. So again, it has that foam pocket on the inside. You can fit wall a big wallet, like you can take a Chanel wallet, put it in there. Fits in there, lipstick, little makeup case, your phone, great size. So I really like this. And then obviously a little shoulder bag. The color is just so stunning. So it's picking up on my camera a little bit lighter than it actually is, but I wanna see if I can get close here. There we go. You guys can see the color. And how fun is this on the green? I feel like this is so springy. Uh, but yeah, just to show you guys where it comes down to, um, you can wear it like longer or you can wear it the short way, so. So we're gonna get into the iridescent collection that came out. And you guys all know if you're pink lovers, like this collection came out and sold out so fast. I was shocked on how many pieces I was able to grab and I actually bought all of these brand new. None of them I bought were pre-loved. Um, so this right here is the small iridescent classic flap. And the reason I got small was because I obviously had the large and medium already. So I felt like this might be a nice size bag to have. And I hope you can see the way it picks up. Like the iridescent collection just shines and is such a pretty, pretty color. I still love this like, collection so so much I just bought an like overage of this collection um, and like I said I don't uh, now that I have kids it's a little different I'm not going out like I used to so I just don't utilize them as much as I would before but this is a bag I'm keeping I'm definitely keeping this bag I love it and like 
I've actually used it I think once or twice. Um, that's what the inside looks like. And then I'll show you guys. I want to be very careful with this bag. <laughs> and then the other one I have right here. So this is the classic wallet on chain in the iridescent collection. I got this in LA when we went, Ryan and I, for our little trip, uh, mommy, daddy getaway. And I love the wallet on chain. This was my first wallet on chain that I ever bought. And I'm so happy it was from this collection. I still think this is one of my favorite bags. Um, and you can obviously utilize it so much. It's got card spots on the inside, a little phone area. Um, you can fit a lipstick in here and it's like the perfect little day night bag. I like how you can wear it as a clutch too. I think these are really great. Um, and obviously a more affordable one would be one like this. You can see the different color pinks there, but that's what that bag looks like. I think it also came with a bigger CC logo. I'm not sure though. I remember seeing one. It might've been a different collection though. Should probably show you guys what this one looks like on so you can see the length because it is longer. Um, so it comes down a lot longer on me, but I mean, really, really nice and beautiful crossbody. I think this is probably one of the most popular bags with Chanel and ob obviously more affordable than their classic flaps. So this is what I was talking about by all my wallets. I'm missing two right here that I moved, but um, from this collection, I bought so many things. So I have this wallet. I have this one, which is like the two. I really liked this one. I've never used it though, but I liked it when it came out. So it had the slots for all the cards. And then on the other side, you could put cash or checks, whatever you want really. Um, so that, and then also this one, which is another crossbody bag, um, or sorry, wallet on chain. Why I bought two wallet on chains. I'm not sure. I honestly think I was just so obsessed with this collection. Yeah, that was basically what happened. Um, but just to show you what this looks like here. So it has the wallet and all the card space and then the chain on the inside. So again, like the bag I just showed you, but a little bit smaller. So that's, you know what? I really like the way it's picking up right now where you can really see the pink. See, that's what it looks like there. It's cause I'm sitting on the floor filming, but you can really see the color there. Not gonna have time to show you all my wallets and stuff, but just like a quick little look here. Um, I also have like other bags like this. Um, and look, again, look how many bags I bought from this collection, absolutely ridiculous. And um, again, wallet on chain. And then I think this one was like the phone case. I got this in LA when it first came out. Again, with, I bought like 10 things. You, got, you guys remember that. I was crazy. Um, and then this is a little Chanel makeup case. Ryan got me this bag from Louis Vuitton. And down here we also have more. I'm not gonna have time to show all this stuff because I can already feel like I'm gonna have to edit any time now. This was my first uh, wallet that I ever bought high-end ever. Super cute. I have my name engraved in it, so I don't think I'd ever sell that. And then also a little Prada bag. Uh, we are getting, I think my phone just fell in my bag, okay. Um, we are getting close to me having to wrap up this video because I want to get it up today. The other thing I wanted to show you here was my Prada backpack. So this one right here, I remember telling you guys about this bag when I got it because it deflates so much and I would constantly have it and like it would fall apart. Um, so that was my only issue with it. But again, I still love this bag. I think Prada has really nice products and are quite affordable when it comes to designer luxury goods. What is this? Okay, yeah, this is the the only bag that I've used um, that has been with me for like uh, kids trips and things like that. That was before I had my own diaper bag that I decided to launch and like this just looks so luxury. I love it and it's affordable and it's huge. It's huge, but this <laughs> got multiple stains on it. I think that's toothpaste. I have had this bag for a long time, but it definitely attended a lot of um, kids' parties and things like that. I remember I brought it to my friend's kids' party and it was in the summertime and I just, I I stopped caring about the bag because I was like, I've been to, t it's been through too much already. Um, but again, that's why I decided to launch the Mia Sophia line of diaper bags, which this I will get to after you guys. This is amazing and has saved me multiple times. These right here are the stroller straps on the back. We have a secret phone pocket right here. We have countless things. Um, this is a slot for dirty diapers, which if you guys have not seen a full 
video on this, please follow the Nia Sophia Glam page. I'll leave it down below. Um, go follow because I post on there a lot and I'm trying to post on there more to show you guys how amazing this bag is. Um, it has a little button right here and uh, um, right here the gold detailing is well, well, the little clasp. And then on the inside here we have like um, a certain spot for your laptop or you can put the change pad in there. Um, an insulated part for your water bottle. Um, there's lots of stuff. I've even put cans of beer or alcohol in there before um, for Ryan and I when we take the girls ice skating. Um, so it comes in handy. That's a really helpful bag. But um, if you guys are looking to get it, I will leave you guys a 20% coupon code down below if you want to order it. Um, it also comes in white. But the reason why I wanted to launch these bags too, I don't feel like there's any diaper bags out there that look luxury. This looks like it could be a Chanel bag. Like look at the patent right here. Look at the quilted um, material, also wipeable material. And these are also cruelty free bags, um, vegan leather. Amazing. These straps, I tell you, are the most comfy and thick straps I've ever used. And it's also pink on the inside, you guys. Isn't that cute? So I wanted to quickly show you guys that. Um, this isn't high-end, but another cute little backpack. I think it's adorable. I'm sure the girls will want to steal it. I think I got it from Indigo. Okay, I'm down to my three last bags. These are it, I promise. Um, and these are obviously accumulated over like 10 years of time. This wasn't like I bought all these yesterday, but uh, this one right here is the Gucci bag. This was my first ever Gucci bag. I mean, this is just such a fun, detailed bag. And look at the diamonds, the big snake on here. And just a fun bag. Um, again, has that thick uh, chain that I like to wear so much. So you, again, you can wear this off the shoulder. You can wear it longer if you wanted. Um, I'm out of room. And then this one right here, you guys remember this bag. This was my first ever Gucci bag. This is probably a classic bag that you guys have seen online. It has the heart on the back there. This is probably one I'm gonna say goodbye to because honestly I never use this bag anymore and it's so cute but don't use it um, how do you even open it that's what it looks like on the inside there you can fit a lot of stuff it has that like flexible material too I like the fact it's like a darker rose pink I feel like a lot of people would definitely like this color it could go with so many different outfits and yeah it's super pretty and lastly, little bag right here. This is the Dior that I got. This is the micro size. I remember at first I was like, why did I buy that bag? It's just so small, it can't fit anything. But you know what I've taken this to twice now? Our weddings. So really at a wedding, you only need a lip gloss and a phone. You don't really need anything else. If you have a ride home, then you need one card. That can all fit in here. And your phone, I usually, like I said, carry in a pocket or something. Um, but it's just so small. It's so petite and cute. It has a really nice luxe thick chain. I'll just show you guys what this looks like. Ooh. So that's what it looks like there. I took it to two of my friend's weddings though and I felt like it was a really great bag to take with me and um, it just wasn't something big. So I, again, just a really cute, nice bag. I've never really been that much into Dior either, but I just thought this would be really cute. Um, and I think that's it. I think we've done it, you guys. We got through everything. And again, I have cold coffee. Um, I'm gonna wrap up here in a second. And then I'm off to editing this video to get it up. So I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, that was definitely a lot of handbags. I feel like I have a lot of handbags and um, that's the nice thing though. I've, I feel like I've also built a community that I've met some of my, you know, some great friends I have here online are also handbag lovers and we talk all the time. I know Liz was sending me the other day, she's like, have you seen the new Chanel Spring Collection? It's so you, you're gonna love it. Um, and like I said, the, the other girls, there's Brooke, she's on Instagram and if you guys aren't following her already, she posts so many pink bags. And um, Tanya, Sharla, like all of those girls, Saki, um, Alice, there's a bunch of them that are just the pink lovers I like to call and they obviously love handbags. Um, I think there's like Lux Mommy that I watch and then there's a girl in the UK, two girls in the UK I watch. I can't remember their names but I'll link the, down their channels down below. What's her name again? Chase? No, it's not Chase. I, like I said you guys, I'm really bad with names right now. Um, but I'm really happy I was able to get this up. It's been so long, over a year since I've put up any handbag video. Um, I know I've done closet tours, but I have not done like a de dedicated 
handbag video in a long time. Oh, I forgot this bag. I bought this with my gift card I had from my mom for my birthday. So this was the Kurt Gregor collection right here. So again, more affordable, still um, high end and luxury. But this, I think I got it on sale for regular 235. I think I got it for 140 when I got it. So really cute. I've seen some uh, bloggers and YouTubers talk about this company and I've heard great things. So I'm really excited to try this out. And it's neat how it has like the the color, like it's all one color. Like I haven't seen that before. Usually it's like a two-tone, but I think it's really neat. So I mean, just like that. I don't have a bag. It's almost like a gray. Like it's a very taupey color. I also like the logo right there. Um, so again, I'll link that brand down below with everything else I can find. I'll also have a bunch of pre-loved links that I can find um, that aren't too crazy. I know Chanel had a price up and increase and um, even Fashion Files gotten really expensive. So I'll see what I can find for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, giveaway. Giveaway <laughs> right here. Um, so if you guys want to win these, just let me know in the comments what your favorite bag is. It doesn't need to be luxury. It can be anything. Aldo bag, like just what it looks like or the name of it. I would love to know what your style's like and what your favorite handbags are like or are you like a backpack person? Um, so let me know in the comments and you must be subscribed. So I think I'm going to finish up this video. I don't know how long it is, but it was really fun to film. And I think my legs and my bum are asleep now because I've been filming this on my floor. On my floor. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. Uh, but I will see you guys in my next video. I appreciate just the love and support you guys always send my way. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been doing a lot of reels lately. So I did one for handbags actually that I just filmed. So it's going to be going up. Um, subscribe if you guys have not already. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video.